Good morning guys and welcome back. So today I want to show you some tips on how to clean your recovery straps after you've been forward driving. Now we went out for a bit of a ticky tour around, it was supposed to be a bit of a soft road tour um, with a couple of friends out to um, Old Clowns Road just um, before the CV and Zoo and we got stuck and this is actually the first time I've actually taken this recovery strip out of the bag, used my soft tackles and it's a bit muddy as you can see by this video we did it safely and all that sort of stuff but they're a bit muddy so I'm going to show you some tips today on how to clean and preserve your recovery straps now this goes for soft shackles, recovery straps all that kind of things because we want to keep them in good conditions so next time we do use them they are in good nick we don't want to have any um, dirt and dust and debris to weaken those recovery straps next time we are doing a recovery so if you, if you guys got any other tips that I've missed or some other way that's better than this please leave in the comments below what I'm doing here it's just the way I found it to be the best. It might not be the way you have found it or someone else has found it. So if I'm not doing it the right way, please let me know in the comments. Um, but this is why I'm doing it and I think it's going to come out great. So let's have a look at the recovery straps. Um, then we've got our bucket ready easy former. We're going to be using Bowden's own fabric cadabra. This is made for uh, seats, interior fabrics and all that sort of stuff. I actually asked Bowden's about this before I'm starting to use it. And they say this will work absolutely mint. On this sort of material so we'll spray it on soak it in then we've got our bucket over there um, with fresh water in it um, and we've got our little helper here as well um, and we'll also be using some wash a lot of people did recommend using just dishwashing liquid but I think car wash will do just fine we'll be filling that up into our clean bucket of water giving it a good rinse uh, pulling it out letting it dry um, and then repeating the process until we're pretty much happy so what we've got is our soft shackle our mean mother soft shackle which is completely dirty uh, this is a soft shackle and then we've got our uh, I think it's a Hercules recovery strap um, as you can see it's seen better days and it's pretty dirty itself so we're going to do this step and we're going to see how good they actually come up again if you've noticed anything that I've missed please leave in the comments below let's get on to it and see how we go I'm washing it good job So with the fabric adapter, we're not going to put it on the whole thing, we're just going to put it on these really, really dirty parts that we know that a lot of mud's actually soaked into. So we'll put it on maybe like a spray. I don't do spray. Good job. And we're going to already see it's kind of working. You can see it's breaking it down. So as we go along, we'll do little increments. It's a long ratchet strip, um, long snatch strip. Yeah. How are you put that in a long strap like this? It is a long one, isn't it? How you, There's how some you, really deep stuff there, so we'll just get into that. How nice. do you pull them out? How do I pull them out? So, we remember when we were in the car, he was stuck, and we helped him pull them out. You mean this one? Yeah, we're going to have to do that one as well. So, actually, the majority of it's pretty bad. But we'll just do the main stuff that's got all the thick mud in it. We don't want to waste the product too much. This is... $21 from Cheaper Cheap Auto. We'll leave links below if you guys want to check that out. Um, and there's cleaning products. Then there's like $25 from Super Cheap Auto. So really cheap. We'll do it, get on the soft shackle as well. Alright, All right, can you take that out, Bing? Why? You gotta put this in. So I'm just doing probably half a capful of this. It's so orangey. It is orangey. It's what's it turn into? Bubbles. Bubbles? Ha! <laughs> I want to put that in there. No, I don't put that in there. Why? Because we've got to clean this. Well, I probably don't need the de-shackle in there. I want to make like this. You can use that. Dig shackles, you can just be clean with normal suds and all that sort of crap. Oh, it. Yeah. Mm. So it fits in there quite well. And like how people used to do their washing, uh, good job. How people used to do their washing by hand and like sudging it, I think that's kind of the way you're going to have to do this. Ready to get in there, get into all those grooves and stuff like that. Can you wash that? Maybe ask your grandmother if you don't know what I'm talking about. She might know what we're talking about. No, you're going to see. I don't I know don't if you can. You're going to see. 
There's a lot of dirt and mud actually coming out of that water. You can kind of see all that stuff rubbing out. It's coming out pretty easy. You can only see how dirty, oh look how dirty that water has been. Yeah. Don't throw it. Just have a look at that soft shackle. Cool. Soft... This is all dirty too! That's right, we can clean it. It's a bolt for the soft shackle. Wow, it's so biting! Is it? Um, see, Why don't you tip the wall down? You can see how much sand and dirt was actually left in the bottom of it and to how much mud came out. Now, this is still pretty dirty. There's a few spots that we'll have to go over and scrub it, but what you're going to do is let this dry, see how well it's actually come up. It has come up a lot better. It's much more white now, but there's a few spots that probably need to go over again. They're not too bad. So you're going to hang it up between the beams and stuff like that, let it dry, and we're going to come back to it and see how good it actually is. By the amount of dirty water and sand and stuff that's in there it's done a great job so far um, especially on like the soft shackle and stuff like that but we'll do another go and see how much better we can actually get it all right guys that's pretty much it for today really happy with the way the strips is actually turned out obviously there's a few stains and like mine and stuff on it which I don't really care about too much is the uh, the grit and all that grime that's there obviously I've left it for a couple of days um, since we got back from the trip and it's going to stain it is going to stain it's white material which is kind of stupid for a snatch strap um, and using it in mud so stains aren't too bad it's just all that grit and stuff you don't want in there that's going to end up weakening your straps so next time you do do a, a recovery that strap's going to be weaker and an accident might happen so we've got even good clean it's a really simple process with the fabric tapper and just a cleaning solution what have you got a lot of people just use like um, dishwashing liquid soap stuff like that um, all that is used to get out all that dirt and grime from your strap um, and your soft shackles and stuff like that but really happy with the way I've done it I think it's come up really nicely you can go further and get all the stains out of it if you want I don't care that much because next time it's just going to get dirty as well but if you like this video and you found this helpful please leave a comment and a like and if you want to please subscribe stay up to date with lots of videos and if you've got any um, and if you've got any suggestions for other videos we might want to do you might want to stay on the channel please leave a comment and let me know I love making content that you guys like so as always thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time